Hey guys, so welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today's topic is all about the range function in Python and Julia both. So I'll show you how the range function works in Python and Julia and how you can get the benefits out of it basically. So let's get started for today's video. So uh, what is the range function so range function is just a generator so it's going to generate certain amount of numbers automatically on your behalf so how does it do so if i show you so you can see that over here i have given the range okay range 0 11 1 so what does it mean so range means so range is basically consists of three arguments start okay step uh stop and then step okay so here start is basically zero stop is basically 11 and step is basically one so it is going to generate the numbers from zero to 11 okay so zero one two three four till ten because in python the upper limit is excluded so that is going to be it's going to be 10 so it is going to generate 10 numbers automatically on your behalf so that's the function of uh, of the range function in python so if i just uh, clear it out and show you how does it work so if i go here and if i run this cell you can see that uh, like it is going to generate the whole numbers like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it is going to automatically generate those things okay. start stop step that is what you have to remember so if i go to the julia notebook in the julia notebook i also i have already provided that range function so over here it's the same thing you can see that start stop and step okay if i just run the same thing over here also we are going to get the similar kind of out because here start is 0 stop is 100 and step is 20 so it is going to give you the numbers between the 0 to 100 with step of 20 so every time it is going to increase by 20 steps that is the thing in julia so one thing i like to mention extra over here in julia is that in julia there is another argument that is for the length so the difference between the stop and length is that so in the stop you have mentioned that step like you want the every number between 20 points like 0 to 20 then 20 to 40 then 40 to 60 in this way you're going to get you want that numbers but in the length argument what happened is that it is going to give you the number of numbers so start is 0 stop is 100 but it is going to give you the number of 20 it is going to uh, create the step automatically so if i just show you the output of it so you can see that it is going to give you the 20 only but has been generated automatically it's approximately 5 if you see like uh, 100 by 20 is 5 almost so it is going to increase by 5 and give you the 20 numbers so that's the extra thing in julia that is not available in python so in python you can only mention the steps but in julia you can mention both step or length whatever you like so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos i make for data science thank you